Hey y'all, Chase here from Dad Does Dinner. I wanted to give y'all a quick brisket update. I'm in the last hour of cooking a brisket, and you know on that last hour I like to throw it back on the smoker after wrapping it. Well, I've changed my wrapping method just a little bit. I'm a member of a Texas barbecue Facebook group, and sometimes they put some good information out there. So let me show you what I did to wrap. Instead of wrapping it in the foil, I put it in this pan on this baker's rack and covered it, and that was my wrap. And what this did, it pulled that brisket up out of that juice and hopefully will make that bottom bark have a little more firmness to it. So I'm gonna throw this on the smoker for the last hour, let it rest, then we'll give it a cut, taste it, and see if it made a difference. So it looks like it just came out perfect. That bark on the bottom is definitely better form than it usually is. And now we'll give it a taste. <laughs> That's perfect. Definitely a better way of wrapping. So, new process. When I go to wrap, I'm gonna put a baker's rack in the bottom of a pan, put my brisket in, and then wrap it loosely with foil on top so I can still get some smoke in and still take advantage of cooking that brisket in its own moisture. Always learning. Cook what you like. Do something good, y'all. See you next time.